All right, so I know I'm late, but today we're going to be talking about the movie Coco. It was released in November of last year, and it's received a lot of accolades, like a 97% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and it won Oscars for Best Animated Film and Best Original Song. I actually saw it last week, and while it was a great movie, I couldn't help but think of one topic that it brought up. So in a nutshell, the movie Coco centers on a character by the name of Miguel. Miguel has an affinity for music, and he loves playing, but he can't listen to, play, or enjoy it because his family forbids it. The reason why Miguel's family doesn't like music is because his great-great-grandfather left his great-great-grandmother and his great-grandmother Coco in order to pursue a life as a musician. So already we see the impact of a father leaving his family. In fact, his great-great-grandmother started a shoe business in order to support his great-grandmother Coco and the rest of her family. You go girl. You go girl. Actually, because of the movie Coco, I wanted to explore the absentee father dilemma in more detail. Through my research, I found that absentee fathers could lead to children acting out, children feeling abandoned, or families in disarray. According to the US Census Bureau, about one in three children are living without their fathers present. And we all know the stereotypes, the father had the kid and they don't wanna be around, they wanna live their life, they don't wanna have any responsibilities. But it turns out in some cases, the whole absentee father dilemma is more complex. For example, non-resident fathers or fathers that don't live with their families have a harder time being with their children. In my research, I found three themes that can explain this whole absentee father dilemma in some cases. The first is role modeling. For some boys that don't have their fathers in their lives, they might think this is how life is supposed to be. So they'll act accordingly. They'll go off and they'll have their own kids and they won't be a good father to their children as well. Obviously, this is not an excuse, but it could be a reason for why some fathers abandon their children and their families. For example, let's look at the famous NBA player Charles Barkley and his one-of-a-kind golf swing. So this is how he used to hit a golf ball. He's changed it as of late. Let's say somebody learns how to hit a golf ball from Charles Barkley and they look at that form. They might mimic it and they might think that's the way you hit a golf ball if they don't learn from anybody else. So I use that example to show how kids who don't have fathers in their lives, they might think that's how life is supposed to be and they might act in that manner if they don't have proper guidance. So the second reason why fathers might leave their families is because of financial issues. In America, we have this idea that men must be the breadwinner. And because of that, some fathers might feel pressured. In fact, not having the proper economic resources is the reason why a lot of fathers abandon their children. Some research has even shown that mothers will withhold their children or visitation rights from the father if they are not financially supporting them. This becomes even more of an issue when we're dealing with teenage parents. Now, teenage fathers, they're obviously not able to financially support their kids because they're still in high school, they might be on their way to college, and they don't have a steady job for the most part. And this is actually why many people might think teenage fathers are more likely to abandon their kids. But studies have shown that teenage fathers are almost just as involved in their children's lives as adult fathers. Oh, really? And last but not least, let's look at the mothers. Research has shown that mothers can be an issue when it comes down to fathers trying to be involved in their children's lives. In some cases, the mothers might not want the fathers to see their children because of some animosity that the two have or a falling out. Fathers might not want to come see their kids because they don't want to see the mother and it becomes this whole big issue. But the kids are the most important part of the relationship. Mothers and fathers must understand that they must put their differences aside and do what's best for the child. So I talked about all this absentee father stuff and I just want to let you know that it's never good to abandon your kids, no matter what the situation. You can always work it out. There's always a solution. So fathers, make sure you are in your child's life. I mean, we don't want another Miguel situation where the kid can't play music, <laughs> but obviously that's an extreme. Anyways, that wraps it up for today's topic on ruining your faves. Make sure to leave comments, questions, or concerns in the comments section below, if you have any. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Chemistry Productions <laughs>